Hello, everybody. So today we are going to talk about geological stresses. So in your Edmodo, you are going to go to the post that says geological stresses. We have the link for the reading. We have our practice questions. And we have my email that you are going to send your responses to. So let's take a look at geological stresses. So geological stresses, um, as you can gather from the title, means that it's stresses that have to do with rock, um, specifically lithospheric plates. Lithospheric plates, excuse me. So stress is going to be the force applied to a rock. So plates are going to experience stress when they collide, as in a convergent boundary, when they move apart, as in a divergent boundary, or when they slide past each other, as in a transform boundary. Okay, plates that are moving on a rounded surface can experience stress. Stress happens to rocks on a smaller scale too. So there are four types of stresses that are going to affect rocks. We have confining stress, compression, tens tension, and shear. So confining stretch comes from the weight of all the overlying rock. So all the rock that is on top of the other rock and pushing down on it, all right? So the rock gets pushed in from all sides, which compresses it. So if you're compressing something, you're putting pressure on it. So um, the overlying rock is putting pressure on this rock. So the rock is not going to deform because there's no place for it to move. All right. The next one is compression. OK, so compression is going to squeeze the rocks together. All right. Um, compression is going to cause rocks to fold or fracture. So folding is when they look kind of bent, like in this picture here. Um, they can also fracture, which is break. Um, and compression is going to be very common at convergent plate boundaries. All right. Tension is when rocks get pulled apart. Okay, so tension causes rocks to lengthen or break apart. So it's kind of like if you stretch a rubber band, that is making tension. If you stretch it too much, um, it is going to break. So tension is going to be common at divergent plate boundaries. Shear is what happens at transform plate boundaries. So shear um, happens when uh, forces slide the plates past each other in opposite directions, so at transform plate boundaries. All right, responses to stress. Okay, so the amount of stress on a rock might end up being greater than the strength of that rock. So if that is the case, the rock is going to undergo strain or deformation, it's going to deform. Um, as you get deep within the earth, sorry about that. As you get deep within the earth, um, you are going to get more pressure. All right. So in the earth, the rock is going to behave like a stretched rubber band. And when the stress stops, the rock is going to go back to its original shape. If the stress doesn't stop, it's not going to go back to its original shape. And if more stress is applied, um, the rock is going to bend, the rock is going to flow. All right? Um, when we get closer to the Earth's surface, um, if we get continual stress, the rock is going to fracture and break. 
So make sure you do your questions and turn them into me.